My suggestion here is not that you can't have a secular humanism. You don't need to be religious to love literature or philosophy, to pursue ideas of the good and the beautiful and the true. But I do think that secular humanism tends to thrive in a kind of symbiosis, engagement, and yes, sometimes debate with religious humanism. Because the questions that both humanisms are grappling with are ones that religious thought has been grappling with for millennia. And when religious thought just gets dismissed as obscurantist or superstitious or nonsensical, as just a form of private feeling with no legitimate public expressions, then over the long run, secular humanism is probably going to find its interests and priorities downgraded and dismissed as well.